Do you like porn? Don't lie to me. I said, do you like porn? That's more like it. 30% of internet traffic is porn and 47% of internet traffic is spam bots. So statistically, a quarter of you are just wanking code. Well, the UK government have a potential plan to scan your face next time you want to watch a dirty film. In October 2023, the UK passed their online safety bill, which allows Ofcom to put guardrails in place so that kids can't see adult content online, which sounds great. But how exactly do you do that? Ofcom suggested effective verification methods, including sharing your bank details, photo IDs, mobile number age verification services, credit card checks, digital wallets, and facial age estimation. Now, I know what you're thinking. What a great policy with no immediate negative side effects that will work for everyone. Well, person who only read the headline and has nothing to hide, so doesn't mind losing some of their privacy, even though those two things aren't connected, you're wrong. Pornhub has entered the chat and said that age verification on their site should take place on the customer's device. In other words, parental controls on phones and computers will stop kids from accessing pornography. And I strongly agree. This would mean there's no central database which hackers could get into and leak all the data. And if hackers did want to get their hands on that lovely, lovely data, they'd have to hack into everybody's phones individually. And who's got time for that shit? So let me put aside my obvious issues with their plan and meet the Tory government in the middle ground. I think that pornography should not be viewed by anyone under the age of 18. But is this plan practical? From a cost perspective, it looks very unlikely. According to AWS, the cost of a face scan is 0.00, it's very cheap. Oh, but that price only applies if you buy a million credits at a time. Let's assume the UK government is just a big fan of Costco. The UK adult population is 67 million, 400, you know, call it 68 million. There are 365 days in a year. So the yearly cost for this plan, assuming that everybody is just having one tug per rotation around the sun, is 248,200 pounds. That's without any infrastructure or an on-site team. So let's add in staff, setup, and infrastructure. I'd be shocked if you get this plan operational for less than seven figures. So a better headline would be the million pound wank bank. But even if they manage to find the budget for this and get it implemented, Ofcom admits kids could use other methods which can't include age verification, like torrents, Usenet, or VPNs. VPPNs? VP... Does that joke work? It looked funny written down. So all you're doing is making it a challenge, or technically, teaching kids cyber, which might be Rishi's secret plan after all. Also, speaking frankly, what you're proposing is a database of everyone, including children's faces, which would need to be collected as more than a flat image. Or I'd be able to hold up an image of Rishi Sunak and pretend to be him whenever I was in the mood. So you'd have to have your face fully scanned from left to right, making it a perfect imprint for a deep fake. And look, if the good guys, please note the Tories are not the good guys, but in this analogy, they are. The good guys can turn on the camera on your device when you're browsing porn. The bad guys can do it too. Over the last 13 years, 13 years and 13 years. Over the last 13 years in office, the Tory party have tried 10 different ways to stop kids from watching porn. And it's all been about as effective as the American healthcare system. From blocking IP addresses of teenagers to making adults enter their credit card details before they have a crafty wank. And maybe, just maybe Rishi, I wanna search for tractors anonymously. Every single time the plan has failed, partly due to privacy, partly due to infrastructure, and partly due to the fact that every single plan they propose to censor the internet fundamentally doesn't seem to understand how the internet works. And look, people will argue that although facial recognition technology can't tell people's ages right now, by putting more time, money, effort, and energy into it, the software will get better at assessing our age over time. To which I say, fuck that. I don't want better facial recognition software. The point seems to have gone over your head faster than Concord. You could successfully ban every teenager from the internet and they'll still get their hands on porn for the same reason why underage drinking and smoking will always be a thing. Also, I do find it uncomfortable when anyone says, won't people think of the children and porn in the same sentence? Won't someone please think of the children is more often than not used as a Trojan horse to justify breaches of privacy at the same time as creating vulnerabilities and backdoors that the bad guys can use to take advantage of the good guy's intentions. And I don't know about you, but I don't care how good or bad your intentions are, I don't want anyone entering my vulnerable backdoor 
with or without a Trojan. What's more worrying to me is that the people running this country thought this was a good option to publicly publish. It feels more like a Cards Against Humanity suggestion. And look, I'm not saying that kids should just be allowed to watch all the adult content they like. Far from it. But a policy like this only actually sounds good to the tech illiterate portion of their base and would only work if you could ban all teenagers from the internet. And honestly, who is going to propose that you ban all teenagers from the internet? Oh wait.